This is a story told in the French army for these 70 years and more. It may be just a legend. It would be nice to think it was true. It begins in the French military academy at Saint-Cyr, where one of the cadets has a grievance. Wednesday. It must be Wednesday. No need to look at the calendar. Or the daily routine. It's Wednesday. It must be Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday at 6 p.m. precisely. And why must it be Wednesday at 6 p.m., do I hear you ask? No, you don't. It's Wednesday at 6 p.m. because Officer Cadet Pico Dalini is showing his usual signs of sexual frustration. <laughs> Because it is now six days since Officer Cadet Pico Deligny fired his last round in the Battle of the Sexes. On last weekend's leave. And it will be three days until Cadet Pico Deligny can fire his next round. On next weekend's leave. So it must be Wednesday. QED. Oh, you oafs, you peasants, you emasculate artisans. You've got no real feelings. Head stuffed with cosines, sword drills, bit and polish. No, you don't. You don't feel the need for love. Love? Yes, love. Conquest, submission, and beautiful, beautiful satisfaction. No, that means nothing to serfs, but to me, I need it, and I deserve it. Worse than ever this week. And what brought this? <laughs> this. Look, I deserve her, Cosette. Who doesn't? What? Cosette, the star of the Varieté, you. And why not? Well, you may deserve her, but it'll cost you. 5,000 francs a night. That's the going rate. 5,000 francs exactly. And who's got that? I'll tell you who's got it. Fat old leches, bankers, politicians, foreigners, the Prince of Bloody Wales. Oh, the, most, the most beautiful, the most desirable woman in France will never know what it's like to be loved by a strong and virile young man. You, for instance. Me, for instance. Or any of us, for that matter. 5,000 francs. Well, none of us will ever make it, that's for certain. Oh, I don't know. What? Mathematically, it's possible. Mathematics, that's all you ever think of. No, it's possible, theoretically. Well, how? The sum required is 5,000 francs, right? Mm, correct. Well, there are 1,000 cadets here. Well? 5,000 divided by 1,000 equals five francs each. Yes, yeah, yeah, so? So if someone organized a lottery, we could each put in five francs and get one ticket. One chance <laughs> to win 5,000 francs. And the winner takes it and spends the night with the lady. But the odds would be 1,000 to 1 against me. 999 to 1, to be exact. Oh, not good enough. But better than the mean. The male population of France is 10 million, approximately. They wouldn't have a stake. So you would be 100,000 times better off than them. It's a consideration. It might work. It's worth a try. The Cosette Lottery at five francs a shot. And at what a target. <laughs> <laughs> Tabouche. Five francs paid. In the kitty. Name in the box. Grosin de Bourrier. Five francs paid. In the kitty. Name in the box. Thierry d'Agenlieu. I owe you five francs. Nothing in the kitty. Name held over for payment in cash. Cancer. <laughs> five francs paid. In the kitty. Name in the box. Well, what's all this? Who's the senior cadet? I am, sir. Well, what is all this? Gambling? No, sir. Don't lie. Money, lists, betting slips. Well? It's a lottery, sir. A lottery? And what for, may I ask? For Cosette, sir. A lottery? For Cosette? Yes, sir. Come on, Ed's report. A lottery for Cosette? Yes, sir. Tant amount of gambling. I have charged them. Well, yes, but an enterprising conception. It could be a nasty scandal, sir. 
The Academy's name coupled with the name of a common whore. Oh, whatever else she may be, Major, she is not common. <laughs> no, uh, you can cancel the charges. Let the lottery go on. But, sir, That's but my decision. We must remember, Major, that when the revenge comes and we throw the Bosch out of Alsace-Lorraine, these cadets will lead our army. Many of them will be killed. Well, I'm not the one to stop one of them from carrying into battle the memory of a night spent with the most attractive woman in France. Send the winner to me before he goes. <laughs> so, you are the fortunate winner. Yes, sir. Chabot Morisot, sir. Very good. Chabot Morisot. Have you got the fee? Yes, sir. 5,000 francs, sir. Very good. And, uh, the rest? <laughs> the, the rest, sir? Yes, for expenses. How much have you got? A, a few sous, I think, sir. Oh, a few sous? Are you proposing to drag Cosette into bed like a common drab off the street? Good God, man, this is an important occasion. It's got to be done with style. Now, when you get to the stage door of the Varieté, you must present her with a bouquet. Chocolates, champagne, after the show, a carriage, perhaps a supper party, tete a tete. Take her to Maxine's. Here, this should uh, meet the margin of any contingency. Thank you, sir. And remember, Chabot Morisot, that this mission places a great responsibility on you. Oh, the fate of your comrades. The reputation of the Military Academy of Saint-Cyr, the honor of the French army, rest on you. Approach this campaign with discretion, care, and diligence. And when the time comes, attack, attack, attack. I will, sir. Be off with you, then. <clears throat> That lad will be the envy of his generation. Ah, oh, true. But the lad who conceived the idea, he's the one I envy. He, someday, will be a marshal of France. All the same, I wouldn't mind being in Chabot Morisot's place tomorrow morning. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, Brigitte. Ah. Could I have my box, please? C'est pas normal. Hey. Mm. Hey. <laughs> How did you get hold of all this? What? Your father's a banker or something? No, he's a civil servant. Then how did you get hold of 5,000 francs? Oh, well, um... Did you pinch it? No, I'm a French officer. That doesn't signify. There's been many an officer with his fingers in the mess funds. Have you got an allowance? Yes. How much? Um, 30 francs a month. 30 francs a month. And you expect me to believe that you say 5,000 francs out of 30 francs a month? Come on, pull the other one. How did you get hold of 5,000 francs? Well, I suppose I can tell you now. It won't do any harm. 
I won you. In a lottery. <laughs> you what? I won you. All the cadets put in five francs each, and we each got a ticket. And the winner, he got the money and spent the night with you. Sort of proxy for all the others, really. <laughs> and the, uh, the rest, the uh, flowers, the supper, the carriage? Oh, the Commandant gave me the money for those, so that I could entertain you properly on behalf of the Academy. <laughs> uh, so, you aren't angry, are you? Angry? Angry? No. Not that. This is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> to have been loved by a thousand men in one night. <laughs> and such men. The gentlemen cadets of Saint-Cyr, the flower of the French army, the pride of France. It is the ultimate in gallantry. A tribute to womanhood, a salute to love. Saint-Cyr has paid me the compliment of a lifetime. And today, I am the proudest woman in France. I, too, will match this noble gesture. Go back to Saint-Cyr, my little cadet, and tell them that Cosette is a woman of sentiment. And when you are an old, old man in the Vendée, you will be able to tell your grandchildren that one night, in your youth, you spent it with the most expensive woman in France, and it cost you not a sou. Not a sou. What is it? <laughs> your five francs. <laughs> In entrance fee, the cadets were Dominic Gard, David Sibley, Richard Austin, and Colin Higgins, the adjutant, John Humphrey, the commandant, Peter Copley, cadet Chabot Morisot, Richard Reeves, and the maid, Nancy Gabrielle. Lighting by Derek Slee, sound by Mike Jones. Dennis Wilson arranged the music, Bruce Milliard was the production assistant, Cheryl Wright was the makeup supervisor, and the costumes were by Dorinda Ree. Set designers, Austin Ruddy and Tony Snowden. Produced and directed by Michael Mills, Copyright BBC Colour, 1977.